Yo, we just hit 10,000 subscribers. What's up guys, it's George Aluyu and in today's video I'm gonna show you three drills or exercises you can do to prepare yourself for the worst case scenarios in boxing. But first, I wanna say thank you for liking, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing and leaving comments. It helps this channel grow and we just reached 10,000 subscribers. So let's keep pushing and again, thank you. If you're new here, I love sharing advice on boxing, nutrition, exercise, life of a boxer, behind the scenes footage on boxing events. So if any of those topics interest you, please make sure to subscribe so you stay up to date with the latest video. All right, so what are some worst case scenarios in boxing? Assuming you don't get knocked out cold or lose by stoppage, here are three bad scenarios you may potentially find yourself in. I say it over and over again, boxing is a dangerous sport and it shouldn't be taken lightly. Even the greatest of fighters can get hurt. All it takes is one punch. I encourage practicing positive visualization. I think the mental reps are just as important as the physical rep, but that's not always the case in boxing or any sport for that matter. Sometimes things may not go as planned, but you have to know how to respond. If you're prepared for the worst case scenario, then when or if the time comes, you'll be able to stay calm and react the way you've been practicing. Again, visualize yourself having good technique and winning the fight, but every once in a while, practice some of these exercises so it won't come as a shock if it does happen. Scenario one is injuring or breaking your hand midway through the fight. Boxing is a grueling sport. There's constant contact being made and if you're a professional boxer you know how small those 8 ounce gloves are. It's common to see boxers with hand injuries. So with this exercise all you're doing is using one hand. Make sure to add feints with your injured hand because you still want your opponent to feel threatened. If you completely stop using the hand, your opponent may notice and take advantage. There have been boxing matches where the fighter will injure his hand and still come out victorious. Switch hands when doing this exercise. Do one round only right hand, then one round only left. Who knows, you may discover a new favorite punch. Scenario 2 is your eye swollen shut or receiving a cut above your eye causing the blood to mess with your vision. Again, this sport is dangerous. Things can change in a split second. This exercise may look a little funny, but it simulates what it's like to have blurry or no vision from an eye. I've had that happen once where I couldn't see from one eye because of the blood. Your perception changes, your timing is off. It's hard to see punches coming from the bad eye. You can use a bandana, headband, eye patch, whatever, just cover one eye. This exercise will force you to make those adjustments. I don't recommend doing this while sparring, but rather when hitting the mitts or heavy bag. Make sure to protect the injured eye and keep those hands up. Scenario 3 is getting knocked down or getting hit with a solid punch that makes you lose equilibrium. It doesn't take much, especially when you're wearing 8 ounce gloves and no headgear. Even in a sparring match with big gloves and headgear, you can get hit with a powerful punch. For this exercise, spin 5-10 to 10 times. This will simulate what it feels like to have no control of your balance. Then hit the mitts or heavy bag. You can also lightly drill or spar and work to grab a hold of your partner. You don't always want to fight back when you're hurt. You already don't have complete control of your body, so sometimes aim to smother and hold your opponent so you allow more time to recover. All it takes is one punch to cause some serious damage. This exercise represents what you may encounter in a boxing match. Remember, a fight's not over till it's over. Recover and remain calm. All right guys, those are the three worst case scenarios in boxing. Believe me, there are so many more bad scenarios, but these are at the top of the list. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what exercise will you be practicing this week. And again, thank you for the 10,000 subscribers and thanks for watching.